The ocean and being underwater, it goes back to your youth. It goes back to being a child. It goes back to a mental space of exploration. We tried to come up with an art style that fit what our goal was, being underwater and having one of these moments, something that most people would never experience in their life. And then I think on top of that, all the other pieces from design to animation to lighting all became in service of those two things. And then that goes to uh, the larger service of trying to create an introductory VR experience for everybody. Part of sort of the core design philosophy of the product was that if you have never done VR before, this is a great experience for you to start with. Whoa. I thought it was, uh, it was amazing. I think I was a little skeptical at first about how real it was going to be, and just the, the depth perception was just am amazing. I really liked seeing lots of the fish, and they were like, going around me, and I like how they were like, in groups and schools of fish. The most amazing thing is the whale. It's just, holy cow, this looks life-size. I really felt like I was underwater, and when that big whale came like right up next to me, I was, I was a little scared. <laughs> one of the biggest challenges and one of the most rewarding things working in room-scale VR is just the level of fidelity that we have to hold and the, uh, the fidelity bar that we were really able to push because when you're in VR, it has to feel real. What you want to do with the blue is, is to create this idea that you're physically underwater yourself. The fish are swimming near you. If you reach out and try and touch them, they swim away and disperse and they come back and they're curious. Um, all of that was stuff we wanted to really explore because, you know, you're part of the environment. You're, you feel that presence in VR like no other medium and it's, it's mind-blowing, you know. The first second I was in, I was in, like, my heart kind of skipped a beat because I was underwater and, like, um, wait, I can still breathe. There's definitely moments where I was like, I'm really here. Like, I'm really doing this right now. It's very relaxing. It's a really nice environment to be in. It's just very soothing. I'm usually quite claustrophobic being underwater, but that felt really spacious and enjoyable. The immersive qualities, being underwater, you know, connecting in, in some virtual way, particularly with the whale, just so out of any experience I've ever had that uh, it's like, you know, it's completely free. I think the reason people respond to it is that it really plays to a lot of our base emotions. Anything's possible in VR, and that's what's amazing about it. And I think animation-wise, it, it just, it sparks a lot of creativity in, in terms of where we can go with it, what we could do. Whether you're witnessing a performance or you're interacting with it, you know, it's, it's really exciting where it's going. VR is tapping straight into, I think, a part of our brain that is uh, our childhood and letting us be kids again and remembering what it's like to do things or do new things that, that we've just never thought we'd ever get a chance to do. Thank you.